The best way for me to go ahead and organize everything is to kind of lay it out on my bed because my bed is the biggest space that's up off the ground. So that is why we're looking at the view of my bed. So first I'm gonna start off with these storage bags from the Dollar Tree and they are in a size large. So according to this chart, the large is the smallest of the three that they offer and you actually get three bags in here. So that's an awesome deal, three for $1. So here are the three bags. Here is one that is empty. Here is one that I've sort of pre-filled. And then here is one to show you how two bulky sweaters really takes up all the room in a size large. So these are sweaters that are just taking up space in my room and in my drawers. They're not things that I wanna give away, but it's nice to go ahead and package them up like this. And then I can store them um, in a container um, like up in my attic or something like that. If you don't have attic space, so here is one of the things that I'm gonna do with this bag. And for this bag, these are just like clothes that my daughter no longer wears. And I am thinking that these are probably gonna be clothes that I am going to donate. So I'm gonna have a donation bag and then I'll probably fill more sweaters up in this bag. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get some things to fill up these bags with. Here are some coral jeans that I'll probably donate. So I went through that pile and found all of the things that I want to keep for her in store. There are some things that like she wore in a photo shoot. So there's things like that that I'm going to keep. So hopefully some of this stuff will all fit into this large bag. We're done with this bag. I already have this extra, extra large bag going. It's the largest bag that I have found at the Dollar Tree. And I already have some t-shirts in here. And what I'm actually doing with this specific bag is I'm using this so that one day I can make a quilt out of all of my daughter's favorite t-shirts. So I found some more shirts in her bag, her little trash bag that are gonna go in the quilt bag. And I am actually going to keep this bag handy and keep it inside the house, maybe in like one of my hallway closets. And that way, as time goes on and more shirts, you know, she's done with, they'll come into this bag for some personalized quilts.
Now I am actually going to take these book rings, they're from the Dollar Tree, and I am going to use them to store my baseball caps. An old trick if you've seen it on Pinterest is you use a hanger and then you can actually use like shower curtain um, rings and you can put them on here and then you can loop your hats, you can loop your scarves. The only problem that I've had with that is that they slide around. So, um, but if you can't find these, you can go with this method and I would just use some like hot glue so that the rings don't really slide around. That is an alternative method, but I have noticed that these are so much better. I've actually already tried it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. And it looks really nice too. So I'm just gonna open these up. I'm gonna take a couple of these rings out and then we're just going to open them like so. The trick is that you wanna do it all at the same time because the loops don't really stay on the clothing rod until you close it. So you're gonna have to do it at the same time. So I'll show you. I've got this one open. So I have fed this into my hat like this. And then we're going to apply it here and then we're going to close it. Just like that. So now I'm gonna do it to the rest of my hats. And that is what it looks like. I think it looks fantastic. It looks clean, it looks organized. And then as you can see, they don't move around, but you can't, you can't slide them around. So I am just completely obsessed with these book rings from the Dollar Tree. Highly, highly recommend them. I am gonna go ahead and add a couple of empty rings and go ahead and close them up so that in case I buy new hats or return this hat up there, I have some rings there already so that they're all in one place and I don't have to go searching for them. You can also do this method with scarves. I actually have a scarf um, wall unit where it has like a bunch of hooks and I put all of my scarves on it, but this would be fantastic for scarves as well. And that is why, another reason why I love, sorry about the camera shaking. That's another reason why I love these book rings because as you can see, they make bigger and bigger ones. There's actually a bigger size than this. So here's like, this one's kind of like, small to medium so lots of different sizes to fit you know thick scarves thin scarves so love this you guys I think I did pretty good because there are a lot of free hangers here so a lot of good storing a lot of good sorting through and getting rid of stuff that I'm just never going to use and taking up space and it also makes you think that you have stuff so, and then, you know, you find yourself wearing the same thing over and over and over again. So if you get rid of stuff, then it will help you to realize, oh, you know, I actually need to go buy a couple of new things. So the pile that's over here is actually stuff that I would like to try to sell. Um, so I am going to use this jumbo blanket storage bag, and it's this huge bag right here. They're pretty nice. I mean, I wouldn't put too much heavy stuff in here because it probably will um, break, but otherwise it's a pretty nice way to store something. So these are just things that I want to sell and but I'd like to store them neatly and nicely so that it doesn't get dust or like dog hair on it, things like that. Another option I want to show you is how I have stored not anything clothing related, but actual like documents and information into these same sweater bags. They do have the sweater storage bag size, which are these, and then the one you just saw was a jumbo blanket bag. 
So these are great to store any like personal documents, anything that you keep but don't really necessarily need them like out in your house or in your desk and maybe you could just put it away nicely and neatly in a small little box in the attic but also having like a cover so that it doesn't get damaged or you know bugs and all that stuff. The next thing I want to do with a sweater storage bag is actually put something along the same lines, um, documents, paperwork, but that I'm actually going to keep inside the house, but it just kind of keeps everything nice and neat together. So I have um, some like pocket letters I need to do, and I'm going to go ahead and stuff this in here. And this has like my pocket letter stuff. or at least some of it. So I'm gonna store this container inside this bag as well. And I'm loving this already because it just makes me feel so much more neat and organized and I don't feel like all of this stuff that belongs together sliding around everywhere. And when I'm ready to use it, I can just pick it up and I've got it all in like one place. The next thing I'm going to show you are these plastic zip envelopes. I just hauled these from the Dollar Tree. A lot of you really seem to like it. Someone even suggested using these for like bathing suit when you take it during the summer because, you know, like a wet bathing suit or something. So that's a genius idea. I got these zip envelopes to store some like little random things that I have that I don't really have a place for but that I'm going to look for them again. So I am going to put them inside of here. I've got this composition book I got from the Dollar Tree, so I want that in there. This is my DIY planner cover that I did on my channel, so I'm going to put this in here as well because I will reuse my planner covers. Here is my original cover that came with my Happy Planner, so I'm going to put that in here. And these are just like blank sheets that um, I never used because I they were already past dated when I bought my planner. As you can see, like this is why I was obsessed when I saw these. So now I have a free one, so I'm just going to add it to my craft little area, which I have moved in my closet. It's no longer in my office. I just didn't like it there. So I really need like organization stuff because I don't want it to look a hot mess. And that is it, you guys, for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am so glad that I did this. So excited that you can even find stuff like this at the Dollar Tree. The bags were great quality. The zipper sealed perfectly. It seemed very strong. So I'm really assuming that it's going to last and be very durable. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is all I have for today. So I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.